Hi YouTube. We're going on a berry hunt. So we're going to go back in the bush here and see what we can find. There's a few wild blackberries out. There's some wild strawberries. There's some thimble berries. Hopefully find some salmon berries. We'll see what we get. Okay. Me and my wife are getting ready to go into the bush now. I mean into the woods. Kind of sounded weird talking about my wife. But look at this. Look out here. That is nothing but wilderness forever. Let me step down here. Well, hold on. These dogs are in the way. Get a better look. This is what we're going to go down. It's a little deer trail that leads out into wilderness forever. I mean, I don't know how well you can see, but this wilderness goes back for miles and miles. When we get lost in here, it's really easy to do. It's all forest like this. But right down that gorge right there is a waterfall. But I see, I don't know about you guys, I see stuff like that, I just want to see what's on the next ridge. But anyway, we're going to go find some berries. Okay, we just found our first berries. These are huckleberries. They're not quite ripe yet, but they will be, looks like within the next three or four days, maybe a week. But look at all of them. I love these berries, they're great berry. I believe they're related to the blueberry. But the only thing is, these are red. These used to be a favorite of my son. Probably still is. He used to just rip off a branch when we'd be walking and eat them as we go. Anyway, let's we'll see what else we can find. There's going to be a lot of them right here. Oh, we found some green blackberries. A whole bunch of these. There's going to be a lot here probably three or four weeks so we're getting close we'll be finding some hey guys we just ran across another edible plant this is a sithel sis sisal I don't know if I'm saying it right sisal something like that anyway this whole plants edible you just pick off the the stickers cut it down and eat the plant it's supposed to be really tasty. Now this here's a treat. These are some wild raspberries. Oh my gosh. I mean you can look all day and not find these. We just found a pretty good patch of them. Nice. Little wild raspberries. Oh yeah. I feel really lucky to come across these. That looks like it. Okay. okay, guys, this is a thimbleberry. They taste similar to wild raspberry, but I'm um, hoping to find a lot of these, actually. So, so far we found some huckleberries that weren't ripe yet, some ras wild raspberries, you wild blackberries, no a thimbleberry. I love that going outside and finding stuff like this. Okay, we just bought another little group of blackberries. Right here. You really gotta search for these guys. But you know what? When you get enough of them, it is well worth it. Hey, see these? These are salal berries. I hear people say they're poisonous. I can't say they are or they aren't. All I know is me and my little brothers ate more than a fair share of these when we were kids growing up. We're still here. But now that people have told me they're poisonous, I'm scared to eat them. But if I had to, I would. Amazing how it's funny how you do something forever, then somebody says, Hey, you can't do that, they're poisonous. Goes right to your head. It's like with you gotta stay hydrated. When we were kids, I'd come out here, 
we hit these woods for hours and hours and hours with not even so much as a, a bottle of water with us. Had no idea that we could get dehydrated. Now that somebody put it in my head, I carry lots of water wherever I go. But I gotta now but people are so into oh you gotta eat this much to have so many calories. Never worried about that either. Now I'm always worried about my calorie intake when I'm out in the woods. Subliminal messages. There's gonna be some nice ones. Here's some really nice ones. Look at that. That's the kind we want to find, them big ones like that. Okay, this is what we've gotten so far. I mean, it's not the perfect time of year for picking berries. We're not done yet, but um, earlier today, my wife and I made a video on a 24-hour hiking emergency kit for people to get lost. You hear about them all the time. It's a sad thing. And she said, what if we're lost right now? Are you prepared? And I said, of course I am. Well, she called me out on it. She don't know what I've brought besides my survival knife kit, my bottle of water. You already know what's in here. If you don't, just go to my um, website. The stuff I bring extra... My little Gerber multi-tool. My flashlight, pocket flashlight. I always carry a fire starter. My side pockets. Roll of toilet paper. A dog's water dish, which I'm going to leave out right now. She knows what that's about. And over here, I got three protein bars. A bag of Ots or Mots um, fruit gummies or natural fruit gummies. Two bags of them. And my standby. Two little things of pure honey, and salt. So, what I got to say to that now is, now what? So yes, if anything, we did get lost, or we stayed an extended amount of time, we'd be okay. I don't know if I've ever shown, I might have, I think I did in an early, early video. This is my dog's water dish. It's really sweet. You pop it out like that. She's ready too. She's a thirsty dog. Look out. She likes to drink out of the bottle. There we go. The other one should be hearing that pretty soon come running. Here he comes. Come on, Teddy. Get some water. Well, my wife just spotted another little patch. This is a nice patch, though. Shoot. There's actually quite a few here. these tomorrow morning we're gonna make pancakes out of them those are all those are red I don't see no black ones there but that was a good little patch right here on this one yeah. Yeah. 
couple days we'll be able to get a lot more. But so far we've gotten blackberries and thimbleberries and raspberries. I'm hoping to find some more raspberries. Here's another thimbleberry. And oops, here's another one over here. Where'd it go? Right there. Little thimbleberries. I mm -mm, can't see. Okay. There's a whole bunch of thimbleberries in there, but I don't want to get in there to get them. Okay, looks like. The secret patch, the little ones are the best. I am so looking forward to tomorrow morning. Pancake breakfast. There's some over here. Oh yeah. I think I just dropped one. Our dog's figured out what we're doing. She's picking them now too. Just have to be careful. He does those thingies or fishes. We're doing really well fighting. Well, we're on our way back out now. Sitting here on this, this is a well-used trail here. Sure is beautiful back in here though, isn't it? But show us how many we got, honey. That's gonna be going in pancakes in the morning. Maybe we'll do a video of it, huh? Oh, and by the way, when you guys see these videos, don't be bashing the hats. No comment, no hat comments, please. I know this is a great looking hat. I don't even know if you can see it. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. you can kind of see it. Yeah. A little bit up. There you go. <laughs> see that? My wife's. Hmm. Bonnie and Clyde, baby. We got at our favorite restaurant in, when we're in Arizona, right? What was that called? I don't remember. Can't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if those are one of my favorite hats. Yep. I got mine at. Where did I get mine? No, I remember. Nordstrom's. Nordstrom's. That's right. Yep. Nordstrom Rack. Well, it looks like the dogs are ready to go home. We're almost there. We only got like maybe a mile hike out. But it's hotter than heck outside, but in here. It's really cool, nice breeze going through the woods. Just nice. Okay guys. Me and Ari would like to wish you a good night. SurvivalSunite.com. We're out. Hey, look what we just came across. An old cabin. In the middle of the woods. Looks like the outhouse right over there. Hope they weren't in it when that tree fell on it. Look at this. Little house on the little house in the big woods. This is just super cool. Hope somebody don't come out and shoot me. Way cool. Anyway, we're out. Couldn't even imagine being in there when that happened. That tree fell down right on top. It looks like it happened a long, long time ago though. Don't look like anybody's been around this cabin in years and years and years. But you can see where the loggers are striping it around here. They're getting it looks like they're getting ready to log. We got there trees marked. Sad. 
Sad, sad, sad. Check this out. This looks fairly new actually. But it's an outdoor wash basin. You hang your towels right there. And you wash right there. I think spiders have moved into it. But yeah, now that is old school. I like it. Huh. Right now we're going home following a deer trail. That's the easiest to find your way when you feel like you're lost even a little bit. So we're going forward on a deer trail and hopefully we'll make it home. Hey Noodle, how do you know this is the right deer trail home? Hold on, we can't hear you. Because I would walk through practice going through deer trail when the, it was in the winter time while well, it was not this bushy in here. Oh, so you've taken this road before. Right. Hmm. Here's some um, huckleberries. But it was Tasty. not this bushy in the winter time so it's easy to find it. Yeah. Yeah, there's many roads in the woods, but like she said, she's familiar with this one. But deer ones are the biggest. I wonder if they're in the Yum, snacks. Hmm? The pass is a little bit wider than the, the ones that the rabbits and the little critters make. Yeah. So it's easier to find your way. Okay, we're following you. Let me see if you got us on the right path. She admitted though, because she comes back here by herself sometimes, and she'll just tell the dogs to go home and follow them. <laughs> Which is an easy way. Okay. Let's see where this deer trail leads. So we arrived here, I usually, this is my landmark right here, to get back home. Following that deer trail, coming back here, and as soon as I get here, I'm safely home. And anyway, I just take a pass to get home, and you're good. So, she followed your trail. This is what she's been using for a landmark, which is pretty smart. Sometimes and we go that way. It's kind of hard to find it now because it's all grown. But sometimes we make this other circle to get home. Good job, Noodle. Thank you.